Live with Bridget Ellison, Julie Broad, meteorologist Candace Campos, and traffic safety expert Trooper Steve. This is News 6 at 9 a.m. Getting results. Nearly a month into the school year, reports show there is a growing number of coronavirus, case, coronavirus cases in children. Even though children may not be exposed to coronavirus news like adults are, they're still feeling the effects of the coronavirus pandemic, whether they've become sick or know someone who's had COVID-19 or has lost a loved one to the illness. Well, 15-year-old 15, 15 Andy Manau is like any other Orlando teenager, but at such a young age, he can say he's an expert in helping kids deal with grief. I got the chance to talk with him recently about why he's taken on this mission. Can you give me a, a little bit of background of, of you know, how you got to, to this point of helping other kids? Well, you know, it started seven years ago when, unfortunately, I lost my close friend to brain cancer. I was, I was really sad and I was devastated, but I was actually more sad for his sister. And that's when I decided to go to my room and write a book about a super pup who had powers and wanted to help people in the world. I approached it. I approached my mom with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she got it published. And from that point, for seven years, we've been working on it to make it into what we have today. Uh, and it's made me uh, have a really strong passion to want to help people. Can you give us a few examples of kind of the right things to say to, to kids who are grieving? Because there's a lot of things that you shouldn't be saying. So, I mean, can you give us an example of the good and the not and, and the bad? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's incredibly important to show the child that you care. So a very powerful but simple phrase you can say is, I'm so sorry. It shows the child that you really care and that you are there to support them. Another important one is, I'm here if you need to talk with me. Mm -hmm. The child may not want to talk at that current moment, but it really gives them the option and once again shows that you are there to support and help them. And last but not least, one of the most important and powerful ones is it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling. Validate the child's feelings because right now in this time, they are feeling things and having doubts about whether or not it's okay to feel that way. So validate their feelings. On the flip side, some things you shouldn't say. Number one, I know how you feel. Mm. Grief brings different feelings to everyone who is touched by it. And no one can relate to a person. Everyone is going to feel differently during a time of loss. What are some ideas that you would give parents to help with the closure process? For a child to get the proper closure they need, uh, when they lose a loved one, especially in such a difficult time uh, as we are in right now, yeah. it's important that they express themselves. Parents need to help them express their emotions. There are several ways they can do this. They can draw, maybe they want to write, for example, write a letter to their lost loved one, uh, and maybe they want to express themselves in another form of art like music or sports. Another good one is making a memory box where you can put uh, your lost loved one's belongings inside to really have something to treasure. But anything that helps your child express themselves can really help them get the closure they need. How can parents find that happy medium between being helpful and being pushy? Well, you know, it's, it's definitely not easy, but letting the child know uh, that, you can t that they can talk to you uh, whenever they feel like it is incredibly important uh, for them to not feel alone. They may not want to speak to you right now, but if you withdraw, if you give up on the battle of letting them know that they can talk to you, they're just going to be even more alone. Mm -hmm. Right now, especially right now, they can't go talk to counselors. Right. And their peers don't know how to talk with them. So they rely on you. So you need to let them know that they can speak with you and go in and check, it, check up on them every once in a while. Um, but don't force them to do anything they're not comfortable with. Wow. Yeah. So important to keep communication open. Yeah. And he I was, I'm always so impressed when you see someone like a 15-year-old who himself having tragedy in his life, rather than just thinking about himself, he was thinking about the friend he lost, his sister. And then that's how the whole book series came, came to be. It's just, it's just so, so powerful when you, when you hear that.
Well, besides being the creator of the Super Dog Zam book series, Andy just launched the Grief Heroes Foundation, which provides resources to help children and teens cope in times of adversity. He's doing great things. Yes. All right, let's take a live look out.